Good morning and welcome back to another episode of TNTV. I'm your host, Billy, and uh, we're here for round two of our best of three with Mario. If you did not see the video yesterday, please go check it out. We did UU for that battle and we're doing OU for this one. So if you didn't see it, go check it out because I'm about to spoil the result. The winner was Mario. Mario won the UU game. Um, we brought a full King team. We brought Kingdra, Sle uh, Kingdra, Seedra, no, not Seedra, Kingdra, Kingla. Nido King, Slow King, um, Slack King, and the Goldfish, whatever that's called. But now we're doing OU, and he brings some stuff. Um, let's get a picture of his team, actually. So this is the OU team we were using last week, um, where we did pretty well. Um, what looks good? Well, looks good. Bannister. <laughs> Bannister Raptor looks good, doesn't it? Um, no switching to that whatsoever. So if I can bring that in on... I don't really know what I can bring it in on. Maybe the Nido Queen? Um, I quite like Swampert as a lead. I just don't like the potential Starmie lead. I think Infernape is a nice lead here. Because I can uh, I can U-turn out. Yeah, Nido Queen will be a bit annoying, I think, this game. Yep, yep. Yep, so um, let's see. Let me just get the picture back up. Um, so hopefully we can win this one and then we can have actually have a best of three. <laughs> well, not a best of three, but a third game. Um... Brought the Abomber Snow, which is uh, the only thing I've got for it really is Scissor as a switch in. Yeah, he does leave the Nido Queen. So I think I'm going to U-turn here out into um, out into um, Swampert. Right, so let's go into Swampert. I do like rocks this game because that darn Moltres. As he gets up his rocks, so they go for rocks. I'm going to go for rocks. Um, yeah, let's do that. Rocks for rocks. It's probably going into a bomber snow. To which point I'll just go into scissor. Oh, go straight into the Moltres. So I think I just. Click Surf. Oh, this thing is Power Herb Solar Beam, isn't it? <laughs> I'm positive this thing is Power Herb Solar Beam. Right, I'm going to scout for that. Are you ready? Because I don't think he goes for a fire move here. So, <laughs> I'm going to go into Sizzle as he potentially clicks Power Herb Solar Beam. And then I'll go back into Swampert. <laughs> or is he Defog? Is he just Defog? Oh, he's Hurricane Balls. Balls. Good lord. Alright, there goes our Obama snow switch in. <laughs> um, I think that's Specs. I'm a Spadef Scissor. I'm positive that's Specs. Um, fuck me, there's my front door. Right. Right, I'll be right back. Right. Okay, there we go, just the postman. Um, we're just gonna click Banded Brave Bird. Oh. What'd you all think of my um, doorbell? Question of the day for you. Right, Banded Brave Bird, down goes Moltres. Please no flame body. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of recoil. Uh, See, so yeah, I do not have an Obama Snow switch in now. Um, oh dear. That did not go as planned. In comes this thing. 
I think Swampert's fine here. I really like his team though. I love how he's got um, a Bomber Snow to give this thing 100% blizzards. But I've got a Spit F Swampert right now. Uh, Infernape's looking nice. I've just got to get the Starmie weakened. And then I can lock into Flare Blitz. Um, let's go for Surf. As he goes into Starmie. Okay, this is good. Like I just said, I want I want this thing weakened. Um, it's probably Rapid Spin here. But I'm just going to stay in and click EQ. Like I said, damage on this thing is important. It is leftovers. Good to know. Yeah, this thing's annoying. Um, earthquake. Yeah, there's the rapid spin. Earthquake, how much are we doing here? That's a good that's good damage, that's good enough damage. Um it, I think it means he can't recover saw me. I think that was enough. Fortunately he has got the speed boost. But I'm just gonna keep clicking Earthquake here. As he does switch, that's good, that's good. It keeps it very much in range of Infernape. Uh, so in comes this thing. And now it's pick a sack. Uh, Gliscor does nothing for me this game. So I'm happy to sack Gliscor. Part of me wants to get my rocks back up. And then just go for game with Infernape. Oh, that's not a bad idea actually, I think. Let's see, he's got this thing which dies to Flare Blitz. Starmie will die to Flare Blitz, we'll outspeed it. It's just the Nidder Queen, which I don't think dies to Flare Blitz. I need a bit more damage on that thing. Which I've got Latty for. Um, hmm. Okay. Do I get my rocks back up or do I switch and sack something? Hmm. Glass core doesn't do anything for me this game. Right, you know what? I'm going to get my rocks back up. As he probably goes for... There we go. Yeah, perfect. I thought he might expect me to switch out there. So yeah, let's get the rocks back up. And now I'll go into Glass core. So unfortunately, our swamp is getting a little bit chipped down. Um, but we are committing now to a Infernate Flare Blitz endgame. We've just got to weaken the Nido Queen, which the rocks will really help us to do. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy going into Gliscor here. I really don't think I need it this game. We lost our Ice Resist. And everything else. Oh, well, Infernape was this ice, but I'm not going hard into Infernape. I need my HP for recoil, because we're going to be taking a lot of recoil, I feel. In comes the Gliscor. It goes for Leech Sheet again. Um, like, I want him to KO me. Maybe not right now. I want the Hail Gone first, but I want him to KO me soon. Uh, let's just go for Ice Fang. As he goes for Ice Shard, perfect. Will this kill? No, but the Hail will, and I think the Hail goes before um, Toxic. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, so now we're going to Infernape and we just click Flare Blitz. Just click Flare Blitz. Either... Yeah, and that's it. He gives me a sack. He gives me a Pokemon. Beautiful. So, we've got Infernape. Let's 
take a bit of rocks and there's the flare blitz so we click that lovely lovely flare blitz as he clicks protect which is absolutely fine you don't have a switch into this anyway if you go into the nido queen then that would be absolutely glorious absolutely glorious if he goes into the nido queen here providing we 2 it ko it Yeah, we're out speed. I think on his team, we know the star is not scarfed. Right. Yeah, scarf and Fernet looks fantastic. Now the Moltres went down. He saves this thing, which is, you know, makes sense. I ain't got to switch into it. Sacks the star Yep. Um, question is, do I go hard latte on the new queen? Um, I'm seeing less use for Staraptor. So let's go to Staraptor. Right, I am going to have a look at a calc here because I do want to know how much a Scarf Infernape does to a Nidder Queen. Let's have a look. Is he clicked to move? No. Nido Queen. Because the way I see this play is if he goes... All right, I need about... All right, depending on his set. Um, he can either go for Ice Beam, predicting me to switch. Oh, he makes a double. All right, this is fine. Does he go into Infernape? Uh, a bombless note. Right. Okay, okay. All right, so he goes into a bomber snow, which means I die to an ice shell. That was a good play. That was a good play. I'm buffeted by the hail. I'm going to go for quick attack. Joe's banded stab quick attack because I, I can't switch in again. And he has ice shard. As he goes for protect. And there's the quick attack. So I don't know if we win this because um, I think he can win the sack race. It all comes down to getting damage on the Nido Queen. I could have made a prediction there and gone into Infernape on his potential scissor. Um, but he lives this. So he might just give it, um, he might just take my Star Raptor. And soon enough, Infernape will be in Blaze range at some point. So let's say if I'm in Blaze range, uh, Nido Queen will be in range. So he does go into the Scissor. And this Quick Attack's going to do nothing. Yeah. And we die, which is, here we go, back into Infernape. <clears throat> like I said, eventually we're going to get put in blaze range, which means we'll most likely potentially kill the Nidder Queen. Um, what HP do we need to be at? We have uh, 151. So we need to be at 33%, I believe, which is 50 HP. Ish. To be in blaze range. Switches into Rotom. Okay, so it gives me the Rotom. It takes the Rock, which means we take less recoil. There we go. Down to 81. And then the Hail. Oh, we're getting very close. We're very close to that Blaze range. <laughs> Is the Nidoqueen. Queen. Okay. Now I know he can predict me to switch here and he can go back into his Obama Snow. Um,
Hmm. Ooh, Latty looks nice, doesn't it? Now that the scissors gone. Oh, he didn't know. Scissors still around. Scissors still around. He um, he didn't give me that thing. And right, Latio says he hopefully, hopefully clicked Earth Power. Ice Beam. Good play. Good play. We are living though. Hail stops. He needs this thing, so we're going to double out into Infernape. He needs this thing. Yeah. All right, please swap Mario. Please swap Mario. You need Nido Queen, or you lose to Infernape. Please. Rocks were so close. <laughs> oh my God, he stayed in. No. Oh no. And that's probably going to cost us the game. Ah. <laughs> oh. Right. All right. Flare Blitz. We're in Blaze range though. We're in Blaze range, but we'll die to recoil here if um, if we do pick up the KO. And we don't pick up the KO. So close. That's unfortunate. Uh, Ice Beam, is he scarfed? No, he's Black Sludge. Cool. Hmm. Ah, oh, we made a big play there. Did not pay out. Pan out. And, um, yeah, this will be GG. Because a Bomber Snow will win now. So there's the Ice Beam. Or Scissor. Um, we we're so we we're close. We we're close. I think we were in a position where we had to make a play. In comes the bomber snow. He can click protect here. That's his best play, really. Oh, eye shard. He can just click eye shard and KO me. Um, I've got a nice Draco for him if he doesn't click eye shard or if he clicks protect. Clicks eye shard. That's a kill for a bomber snow. So Mario is going to win this uh, best of three series with back-to-back -back wins, but um, is what it is, isn't it? Is what it is. It's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. <laughs> There's no way Swampert can pull this back for us. Uh, yeah, we're just going to click. Earthquake, but we'll go down to a Giga Drain and he clicks protect Protected the bomber snow I think is just um, well I just think a bomber snow is massively underrated especially in this form at the minute I think if you look at the OU tier um, a bomber snow just hits almost everything super effectively Or at least neutrally that I don't think there's um, any resist to bomber snow at the moment, um, considering it gets an EQ as well for the likes of Magnazone. And that's GG. Uh, so, well played to Mario. Good game. Um, not sure if we're going to have the third game because technically he won the best of three. Um, I'll message him now and find out. Um, but yes, thanks for watching. Um, uh, if you did like, please leave a like and do subscribe. And um, I'll hopefully have some more of these BDSP um, Wi Fi games coming. So, yeah, until then, cheerio.